Welcome back, this is Raktar, and as you can see, I am playing as an animal today in a game that I don't play very often, or a game that I just haven't played in a long time, I used to play it all the time. But, as you can see, I am an animal that is capable of killing million- oh damn, even the chickens are- see look, even the chickens are afraid of me. Even though I can't even get my stamina back up to ever- I will never catch this chicken. But anyways, yeah, I'm playing this game again today, and I'm playing as the Silky Terrier, still- one of the animals that needs to be checked off of my list of animals to play, as you can see. The challenge is, what the fuck? The Silky Terrier has, like, some legit challenges to start off. Or maybe I just sort of, like, forget what types of... Like, it could be a possible... Oh, what, what the fuck just killed that? Oh, no. This beagle is ruining... Okay, we're gonna get the... I don't even know... Nice, okay, I was, see, what I was getting at, I was like, I don't even, I've never played as the Silky Terrier before, as I was saying, or the Jack Russell Terrier, I don't know why the game calls it the Silky Terrier, I feel like that's gotta be some, like, mistranslation of something Japanese, if you catch my drift, like, I don't know, sometimes when I see stuff like that in this game, I figure that, like, what it is, is somebody, like, didn't understand something about like some word that they were translated. Look at this! These birds, they have no fear of the Silky Terrier. They're gonna come try and kick my ass, but that's good because I need to get 10 kills. Birds, I thought you wanted to murder me, and now all you're doing is being weak ass sons of bitches who can't, even, who can't even stand up and fight. Oh shit, I fell off, whatever. Fuck those birds. We're gonna kill these birds. A little baby chick. Look at this. I feel like more of a man because I can kill a little baby chick as a Silky Terrier, which, dude, seriously, the name, Silky Terrier, going back to that, I feel, oh shit, by the way, I'm gonna be, expect some rust and lime buildup all over my playstyle because I haven't played this game probably in a month and a half, possibly even two months, and so I'm sort of getting back down on the controls, but I feel like I'm just jumping in and it's feeling like the killing is coming natural to me. Maybe it's because I am in a previous life. I was about to say in a previous life I was a murderer, but that just sounds awful. So I'm going to say maybe in a previous life I was a silky terrier. And so my body, my hands are flowing through the 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 body of the silky terrier and I feel its energy pulsing through me and I am able to murder like an efficient murdering silky terrier machine. Oh, there is a big animal over- oh, it's a kitty. Just a kitty. Oh, no. It's multiple kitties. Dude, there was not supposed to be kitties here. That is ruining my silky terrier plans. Oh, dude, I keep on trying to talk about it. So, silky terrier... I feel like there must be... Maybe in Japan they call it a Silky Terrier because its fur looks so silky. I really don't know. To me it just looks like a Jack Russell Terrier. Maybe somebody will correct me in the comments and be like, Oh, Raktar. Oh, but Rakt- Oh, but Raktar. The Silky Terrier is, in and of itself, actually a breed of dog. And if that turns out to be the case, I will be surprised. But hey, you know what? I am definitely not a small dog breed expert, or I wouldn't claim to be an expert of any type of animal. I'm just definitely, like, I am not Mr. Magoo, I'm not Eddie Murphy in whatever movie he was in about animals. What what movie was he in? Who cares? Who cares? That was like 15 years ago. I wanted to, oh, damn it, I remembered the name. I would be so much more proud of myself if I didn't remember the name because it would mean that my brain is sufficiently able to block out memories that are not important. And it's like, maybe that means I can delete- Oh, it's some more terriers! That's worthless to me, because I need to murder things! I need to kill! And I can't kill- well, I mean, I can kill others of my kind, and if I still needed the kill count, that would be helpful right now. And... Oh! Oh my gosh! Whole- whole fucking axis steer going for my 2,000 calories. That should be very helpful, except for a surprise cat hiding in the bushes like a motherfucker. Actually, it wasn't in the bushes. I saw that cat. It was on the second floor of this building, hanging out inside of that apartment. And I know because I saw a triangle upon my approach, but I was like, dude, oh. 
The silky terrier stalks its prey, the axis deer. The deer is worthless against the silky terrier's gigantic teeth. The silky terrier is a ferocious beast who fears nothing. By the way, when am I gonna hit? I feel like that's gotta be 2,000 calories. If I've ever eaten 2,000 calories in my life, I know what 2,000 calories feels like, and that's it. Actually, dude, okay. As, like, a big fat guy, I have definitely eaten 2,000 calories. Like, some days, I'll just sit down and eat, like, a whole little Caesar's pizza. That's 2,000 calories. Eating all these animals, I could not sit down and eat all these animals. So I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say, I think that they are misle- Oh, am I- Am I the dude? Oh, nope, I'm not the dude. Let's go kill some more dudes, become the dude, go back, get that mate. But seriously, I think I know what 2,000 calories looks like. And it is definitely all these animals in more- Oh, oh, dude, those cats saw me. Oh, no, they didn't. They saw something else. What did they see? Oh, they saw a deer. Dude, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get all of it. I'm gonna get the sick of deer. I'm gonna get these stupid cats who are ruining my- Oh, that's not a living cat. For some reason, the way that sick of deer was lying on its side, I thought it was a living cat. Don't ask me why I thought that. Probably because my brain is made of stupid and not made of smart. But I seriously, I looked at that cat- and I was, or that deer, and I was like, dude, that deer is a living cat, and I'd better attack it, so... Let me tell you something, this is something my dad taught me when I was growing up. Don't attack dead deer bodies thinking they're living cats. Because firstly, it's wrong to attack a living cat. And secondly, you just look weird if you're attacking a dead deer body. In fact, for that matter, you look weird if you're attacking a cat, so... Don't do that. That's just wrong. This is absolutely wrong. Anyways, I should probably mention- d uh, Dude, I'm like changing topics like left and right here today. I don't even know why. My brain is just on rapid fire of weirdness today. Did I get the- But so anyways, as you probably, if you're a fan of this series, uh, you've noticed that I haven't uploaded it in a while. And it's just because I have sunk hundreds of hours- pro uh, Not hundreds. Actually, maybe hundreds. I may very well have sunk hundreds of hours into this game. And the point is, I've spent a lot of time playing it, and I definitely just needed a long break. Just because, like, there are so many other games I wanted to play. I... Actually, I've beaten several games recently. I started playing faster than light because, oh my god, Steam sale is happening right now. Is anybody excited about the Steam sale other than me? I have, like, bought so many games. But anyways, I beat The Last of Us. I canceled it on my channel because I've been having this, like, syndrome lately with certain games where it's, like... Especially with brand new survival-y shooter type games. I feel like it's more fun to play those games when you're kind of like giving it your full attention span and when you are like what am I trying to say? Like basically it's more fun to play those types of games when A you're giving it the full attention it deserves and B whatever. So when I was playing The Last of Us I definitely over time, I felt as though I was not giving that game the full attention it deserved for me to truly enjoy it. And now that I have beaten it, I can say that I truly enjoyed that game. It was actually a fantastic game. I've got to give props to Sony. Dude, Sony, in terms of, like, console exclusives, has had so many more console exclusives for me lately. Like, The Last of Us was a fantastic game. This game is, like, gonna be a year old here soon, so this game doesn't count. Dude, I was looking into another game that this, uh, studio was making. It doesn't look nearly as cool. It, like, it's a much less original idea. Well, it's super original. Okay, if you go look up, uh, the game is called The Puppeteer. I don't want to say it's not an original idea because... Damn it, I shouldn't have marked there! Because I looked at my challenges to know that I shouldn't have marked there. Oh well. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Oh, oh, the chicken. I'm gonna murder that chicken. I'm gonna mur- Oh, no, 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 You weren't supposed to see that. You weren't supposed- to, You weren't supposed to see- You weren't supposed to- You weren't supposed to see that. Oh my gosh. Every- Everybody kill that chicken. There we go. Whew. You weren't supposed to see that chicken. You were supposed to get murdered to death in secret. But yeah, uh, if you look up the puppeteer, it's the next game, this studio. The studio that made this game is currently working on. And... It- It like- so the art style is super original. The art style is like all, it's all puppets and they look really cool. Like everything is marionettes. They get all the freaking motion down to like a freaking T. It's amazing. It just looks like a fantastic game to say the least. 
and I don't know. I was excited for it for a while, but idea-wise, it was not as original as this game. This game was probably one of the most original games I've ever played in my whole life. Ah! Except for, dude, I, I could say that, but then I'm like, I played the original Metroid when it came out. So for me to say this game is more original than, like, the first Metroid when it came out, I don't think that's accurate. <gasps> that bird ran away! I was gonna kill it. I'm actually killing all these birds for, like, no reason. I just... It's because I hate nature. I hate birds. Look at this. I'm doing such dumb things right now. I said I wasn't supposed to be marking, and then here I am. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. You get dead. You, bird, are going to get murdered. You know, speaking of getting murdered, though, I'm actually... I know this is kind of sudden. I'm going to end this episode of Tokyo Jungle right here. In the next episode, I will be approaching the 11-year mark where I'll be starting the 11 year challenges and hopefully succeeding on the journey for another tuxedo. As always, you know me. I'm always looking for them tuxedos. And hopefully the Silky Terrier is gonna be the animal that's going to carry me to- Oh, I did not mean to hide. Hopefully the Silky Terrier is going to be the animal that will carry me to tuxedo victory. So anyways, I am going to, as I said earlier, and then I kind of got sidetracked, I am going to end this episode right here. This has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.